All right, so we have a 1972 Ford Bronco, the first generation Bronco, and we have done a lot of trucks, and this is our first full-blown Bronco. And so if you went to SEMA this last year, you're probably out by the Ford Drifting Corral and where they would give you rides to ride around on the trucks and all that kind of stuff. You probably saw in the outdoor Ford booth, they had a Kinsler chassis with this silver Dennis Carpenter, brand new Ford Bronco tub all put together and where you could check it all out and see the Coyote motor. So that's actually this one right here. And so we're actually, we got it here. We've been going through it, making a lot of modifications, but very subtle things that uh, you, you, know, you would probably not notice unless you're really looking, but they're gonna be substantial differences. So we've actually got it painted, but we actually came in and wanted to put a, a really thin coat of a bed liner down in here. And you can see that we've already done that. It's all cleaned up. We've done the bottom, we've done inside, and then it's super clean. You can also notice that we lowered that section about two and a half inches where the seat would have been on both sides and brought them all out the same. But we wanted to get some nice uh, electric seats in there. In order to do that, we actually had to lower them down because you set just a little bit too high. So that's all been redone. We've actually beaded it, made it nice and strong, ready to go. So all the fabrication's been done. I'm gonna peel this back just a little bit. You guys can kind of see this color here. This color is one of my favorites. I love it. So stay tuned. Uh, you can go check out our Instagram and Facebook and probably see this uh, already painted, but we're probably to the point where we're about ready to put this onto the frame for the last time. And it's gonna be there forever until maybe somebody decides to restore this in another 30 years. So definitely a cool color. We're excited about it. We'll cut and buff this and make it look just perfect we'll also use our big big kid blocks that's kind of a tongue twister big kid blocks and we'll block all this out and get it ready to wet sand cut and buff so pretty excited about this it's a cool build follow along and you're going to see this thing here in another couple months just look amazing so